All right, uh, welcome everyone to this presentation. We want to deal with the, the 2024 GCE paper two, additional mathematics, okay? Additional mathematics. So we're interested in just the, a few questions. I've seen a lot of learners having problems with um, question two, especially part A. Well, let's see how best we can do this one. I've given my learners um, such kind of questions. Uh, a few, I must mention that a few really have problems. But let's see what we can do together. Okay. Let's see what you are we can do together. So please uh we encourage uh, you to subscribe to our channels. Okay. Uh much better. And really JM Taomba Mondo. All right, please subscribe to our channels so that you're able to get the video that we upload and the turn on the notification button. And please, in case you want to contact us for lessons, you can contact us at 0978 56 76 0979-67-58-09. Okay, so what is the first question? We are saying this is A. Find the range of values of m for which 2m squared minus 2m is actually less than e, zero, okay? So what you need to do for the such questions is uh, you can try to factorize this part, okay? You get your product. Your product is I think there's minus four that we've left out. Yeah, there's minus should be minus four. Okay, so minus four is less than zero. So your product is a times c, a times c. In this case, your a is two, and your c is negative four. That is negative eight. Then your sum, you must find your sum. The sum is b. Factors and the answer must be negative two when we add, right? So how about trying this? Negative four and two, all right? When you multiply this, you're going to get negative eight, and when you add negative four, therefore means that you have got two m at plus two minus four. Minus four and zero. Okay. So now what is common here is two m. Okay. Um two m into two m squared, we have m plus one minus four m plus one. This is less than zero. Okay. So this simplifies further to m plus one, then uh, m minus four is zero. So let's see. Okay, let's proceed now. It 
So what are we saying? So next step is to create the critical values. Values, in other words, we can try to solve for M. So we have M plus one to M minus four. This is equal to zero. So when we solve this, M will be equal to negative four one. Oh, um, M is equal to two. Okay, you can say two M equal to four. Let me write it nicely. Write it clearly. We are saying 2m minus 4 or 2, 0. We are saying m 4, therefore, um, uh, m is equal to 2. Okay. So find the area. You can even say maybe let m be equal to a so that we use the x axis. How do we say? In that case, it means we have got our turning points at negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two. So if we check the intercept, the intercept is that uh, negative. Negative four, okay, and x um a is greater than zero, so it is the, a minimum curve. So what we have is something like that. Yeah, this is two. So now we want where the graph is below the y-axis. So you can see that the graph is below the y axis. This up here, it is below. Below the, the graph is below the x axis. It's not zero. And this, this is our area where it is less than zero. If you begin to move from here, when it's like it's above, it's above. So we don't need that. Okay, we need the one that is less than zero. Okay, which is here. So it means, therefore, the inequality is at negative one should be less than m, and this m should be less than two. Or you can say m. Uh, is greater than negative one or m is less than two. That's another way. Now, if this is the, uh, maybe um, involving, you can use another method. You can use a line, right? You can use a line, new test, okay? So you can say, okay, let's pick a line here. Yeah. We have got negative one and what? And four. So you pick two numbers to left. Okay, maybe I'll say this is a. Then I'll pick any numbers here. It's B. Then you can also pick your numbers going inside. Right? So if I pick a negative one, you test. Negative one here. You put negative one. In the M plus one, M minus, take it to be less than zero. So if you put negative one here, so you'll be zero. Is zero less than me? zero? No. So it means this, this region is false here. We can't pick anything less than negative one. How about if we pick 
that is greater, that is greater than one. Let's say we pick two uh, greater than negative one. Two, any number here, pick two. If I put two here, uh, two plus one, three. If you put two here, uh, put two here, Uh, take note, actually, where it's not four, okay, it's two, okay? So it is two here. So the number here is two. So we can pick the number between that. Let's say, let's pick one, because here it is two. It is two and not four. So I'll pick one, okay? Meaning that if you pick one, if you put one here, so it'll be one plus one, you get two. Here, yeah. you put one, two minus four, to be two times negative two. Is this less than zero? Yes. So it means this is the, the area we are talking about, right? So if you pick any number after 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 two, greater than two, not um, satisfied. So this is the, our answer in this. So negative one must be less than m. M must be less than two. This is your, your solution. Okay. Uh, please take note, we are saying this B2 and not M. Okay. I don't know why I keep on writing M, it's supposed to be two. It's supposed to be two here. Okay, this number that is next to. Okay, good. Let's move, uh, look at the next one. Okay. So please subscribe, like I keep on saying, to our new channel, Kanban Theory. JM. Chaomba Mbondo. Okay. So I wanted to present the, the next question. But please look out for this video if you're able to find it. Um, um, look out for a video for this question, you'll be able to find it in, in one of the videos that uh, we are presenting. I think you'll be able to find out it separately. Okay, till next time. Bye bye. God bless. Subscribe, share. Contact for lessons in additional automatics.